Welcome, dear friends, to our time of scripture reading for Sunday, June the 4th, 2023. I'm Brian J. Monroe, pastor of Kitimat First Baptist Church in beautiful Kitimat, British Columbia. And today is after Pentecost in year A of the Revised Common Lectionary, and it is called Trinity Sunday. This is when we celebrate the mystery, the magnificence, and the truth that God is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, co-equal, co-substantive, three in one. Our reading begins in the Old Testament, as is always on a Sunday, there are four readings. When we begin with the creation uh, narrative, starting at Genesis 1, chapter 1, going through to chapter 2, verse 4a. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was over the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw that the light was good, and God separated the light from the darkness. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning, the first day. And God said, let there be an expanse in the midst of the waters, and let it separate the waters from the waters. And God made the expanse and separated the waters that were under the expanse from the waters that were above the expanse. And it was so. And God called the expanse heaven. And there was evening and there was morning the second day. And God said, let the waters under the heavens be gathered together into one place and let dry land appear. And it was so. And God called the dry land earth and the waters that were gathered together he called seas. And God saw that it was good. And God, and God said, let the earth sprout vegetation, plants yielding seed and fruit trees bearing fruit in which is their seed, each according to its kind on the earth. And it was so. The earth brought forth vegetation, plants yielding seed according to their own kinds, and trees bearing fruit in which is their seed, each according to its kind. And God saw that it was good, and there was evening and there was morning the third day. And God said, Let there be lights in the expanse of the heavens to separate the day from the night. And let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. And let them be lights in the expanse of the heaven to give light upon the earth. And it was so. And God made the two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night and the stars. And God set them in the expanse of the heavens to give light on the earth to rule over the day and over the night, and to separate the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening and there was morning the fourth day. And God said, Let the waters swarm with swarms of living creatures, and let the birds fly above the earth across the expanse of the heavens. So the God created so God created the great sea creatures and every living creature that moves in which the waters swarm according to their kinds and every winged bird according to its kind and God saw that it was good and God blessed them saying be fruitful and multiply and fill the waters in the seas and let the birds multiply on the earth and there was evening and there was morning the fifth day and God said, let the earth bring forth living creatures according to their kinds, livestock and creeping things and beasts of the earth according to their kinds. And it was so. And God made the beasts of the earth according to their kinds and the livestock according to their kinds. 
and everything that creeps on the ground according to its kind, and God saw that it was good. And then God said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the heavens and over the livestock, over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. And God blessed them and God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the heavens and over every living thing that moves on the earth. And God said, Behold, I have given you every plant yielding seed that is on the face of all the earth, and every tree with seed in its fruit. You shall have them for food. And to every beast of the earth, and to every bird of the heavens, and to everything that creeps on the earth, everything that has the breath of life, I have given every green plant for food. And it was so. And God saw everything that he had made. And behold, it was very good. And there was evening and there was morning, the sixth day. Thus the heavens and the earth were created and all the host of them. And on the seventh day, God finished his work that he had done. And he rested on the seventh day from all his work that he had done. So God rested the seventh day and made it holy because on it God rested from all his work that he had done in creation. These are the generations of the heavens and the earth when they were created. Our psalm today is one we're familiar with. It's Psalm 8. To the choir master, according to the Gittith, a psalm of David. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory above the heavens. Out of the mouth of babes and infants you have established strength because of your foes to still the enemy and the avenger. When I look at your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and stars which you have set in place, what is humanity that you are mindful of them? And the children of humanity that you care for them, yet you have made them a little lower than the heavenly beings and crowned them with glory and honor. You have given them dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under their feet all sheep and oxen, and also the beasts of the field, the birds of the heavens and the fish of the sea, and whatever passes along the paths of the seas. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Our third reading comes from Paul's second letter to the Corinthians, chapter 13, verses 11 to 13. The Apostle writes, Finally, brothers and sisters, rejoice. Aim for restoration. Comfort one another. Agree with one another. Live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the saints greet you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Our final reading for today comes from the Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 28, verses 16 to 20. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. And when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always to the end 
of the age. This is your powerful, eternal, holy word, Almighty Father God. May you be praised for the generous provision of it to us and grant, Father God, through the power of your Holy Spirit that your word may be written deep in our minds and hearts and souls wherein it can work in us what is good and pleasing to your will. We pray this to your glory in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, our Savior, our soon returning King. Amen. Dear friends, as always, I commend you for taking some time out of your day, a few moments really, just to listen to the Word of God, to hear it, to ponder it, to meditate on it. I've recorded the references for the passages I have read today in the description section of this video so that you can return to those passages, read them again, um, commit them to your memory, have them work deep in you to the glory of your Lord and Savior. And until we can be together again tomorrow to hear the scripture readings for that day, I bid you in the name of Jesus Christ, Shalom.